Here's what you do in this matchup. You never play around the turn one go hard. Usually, that's, I usually tend not to play around it. But this might be the exception because I have some blessed figure. So we'll pass. All right. Now we play Zoe. So, how have the games been, Faint? It's been okay. We've been hovering around Platinum 2 most of the day. You know how it is. Serpent was pretty good there just to save myself some HP. He's actually playing Vile Feast? Holy shit. Oh, it makes sense actually. Actually, that makes a lot of sense at the moment. Just because of like Teemo, Zoe, yeah, I, I can get behind that. There's nothing to fear. I can definitely get behind that. This looks good. I've been seeing the vile feast and go hard, yeah? Yeah, well. It's yeah, I get it. I get it. I get why it's why it's there. I'd probably play it too. Why salvage on the stack? I open attack 2 to play around Zap Sprayfin. I've been playing a Claws combo deck in ranked. Is that a, uh, I think Glop made a post about something about some sort of uh, Claws combo deck. Yeah, basically that one. Yeah, so like, can't you like do like 19 damage on turn 5 or something? It's like a 9 card combo though. <laughs> hitting that on fucking, hitting that on curve. It's kind of nuts. Out from the darkness. Sup, fainty wainty. Sup, expired sandwich. Scratched. Scratched. Have I already played a Spacey Sketcher.
lost a fair game. Or played one. Who says I don't share? Okay, I need to find something with spell shield. My ordering was probably a little bit off here. But he's only played one go hard. Wait, has this guy even played one go hard? He has not played one go hard yet. We're chilling. What am I on about? Okay, that's his first one. So everything has challenger. And quick attack. Okay, so we're gonna play star shaping right, and we're gonna find something with a uh, spell shield, and that should close the game. Or even behold, the infinite can do it as well. Spell shield. Damn it. There's no way he has three go hearts in hand, right? No way. Oh, and he passes too. Beautiful. Uh, this should be pretty much GG. Watch this. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. That's a good giggle. Look at all the keywords, dude. What else have you messed around with so far? Literally just this. Is there any significant change from the Mobilux version of the deck? Uh, yeah, so I haven't got the PNZ cards right now. It is, it is significantly different, actually. I should probably update it. I can do that now. I play against one MFTF and I just freaking rage quick. Fair enough. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. 
it can be hard sometimes having no control of the outcome of every single game just card game things you know See the Nebastian border from here. Sun this, moon that, adults are boring, but they're pretty to paint. Lunari, rise. Ready the torches. As much as I don't want to attack, like, I probably have to. Well, that's not true. I probably don't have to, but I need to win. I can only win by reducing his Nexus HP to zero. Hogaru's Avalanche. Yeah, I guess I guess Solari Sunforger has some pretty nice stats. This deck looks like a lot of fun. Give it a shot. Maybe you'll have a good time. So are we thinking uh so we've got options here, right? Bile Feast completely shuts down a lot of options I have this turn. We'll just have to keep applying pressure, try and get the biggest cards we can from Mountain Scryer and Star Shaping. And uh, we, de we we develop this turn every time. If we open attack, common cards we'll have is like Bile Feast. So then that happens. Yeah, I could potentially push two damage, but probably just jump blocks it. Yeah, if I had have played Solari Sunforger, I would have got shut down. I have a hundred percent win rate with this deck. It's nuts, my man, my man, my man playing one game with this deck. Hoggers. Yo, that's a slow turn. Perfect turn for Golden Sisters. We have a chance now. We have a chance. Yo, Starry Scam's so good here. It's like a, it's a passive as play. So at the moment I'm pushing 10 damage. I could potentially push more. I'll just take the open. Looks like he's gonna play um Anivia this turn. What will you have? No. Interesting. Interesting. If I only have two Zoris, what can I use to replace the third one? You can use Aurelian Soul actually. I've was thinking about putting Aurelian Soul into this deck at one point. It's something I might experiment with later. I was thinking about going two Diana, three Zoe, one Aurelian Soul. Or you can do two Zoe, uh, three Diana, one Aurelian Soul. I think Aurelian Soul might be an interesting tech card for this deck. I know these paths well. I'm probably not going to play the Scamp here. I need to. I think uh, the board's strong enough, right? He has Ruination Mana. That's fine. Thanks, mate. I'll give Ace all a try. Go for it. Just don't don't focus too much on the like a really soul win con. Is this something that can be like a really cool tech that sometimes can win games? Yeah, I love Targon decks, and it's true. You can take them so many different directions. I think the pass here might have been too aggressive. I probably should have just played Star Shaping. If Copper's Mine was here, he'd fucking kill me right now for not playing Star Shaping. Well. 
Did you mess around with the double hush? Two creatures can't block card? Uh, not yet actually. Not yet. Great Beyond's fantastic, right? How much mana does this guy have? He has... I can make this Great Beyond bigger, right? Maybe that should be my plan. I'm just going to take the open attack here. I'm going to look to try and end the game with a huge Great Beyond later. He's probably going to go for a Withering Whale here. So I'm thinking I might go for a... Star shaping. How many living legends is too many living legends? Cosmic rays. Yeah. Cosmic rays is safe, right? We'll, we'll hold on to that. Double withering whale. Let's go. Worth. Let's just get that Zoe onto the field, yeah? Start to threaten that win con. Empty our hand out. If we can get his Vile Feast, like if he uses a Vile Feast here to deny the Moon Glow, he's going to have less opportunities to destroy the Great Beyond with a combination of Vile Feast plus Vengeance. So I think this should be a good outcome for us. Holy shit, fellas. These old eyes still see far and clear. I think I might actually prefer to go for the like the wider board, right? I'm gonna use the Equinox to under Sentry. Play this big boy next turn. It is gonna be so difficult for him to deal with this Great Beyond. This is 15 damage. Is it time? Is it time? He needs exactly Vile Feast into Vengeance. Or Vile Feast, yeah, it's, that's pretty much it. it is time. Oh, you could also kill the Trickstar. But that would mean like a Vengeance or a Grasp, right? That's a good sign. 
cosmic inspiration. Apparently the, the expansion is called Cosmic Creations and I was calling it wrong the entire time. Have you noticed that they, um... Have you noticed that they, uh... They, they actually have titles for these expansions, but you just, you never really know about them, do you? You just think of, like, Targon as, like, the expansion. But each individual package has a, a title. You know what's really funny? Ah, oh, that's not funny. <laughs> Damn it. I was hoping that maybe if he was going to play Ruination next turn, he would have to do it like at burst speed. Like, well, you won't be my friend. I'll come over there right he now. wouldn't open you Ruination. Fart out your butthole. No. What region do you want for the next expansion? Probably Sharima, so I can play the chicken. Play the chicken. Shining gifts from the sky. What if I do this? Oh snap, I thought I had followed already, my bad. Oh good homie. How does he survive this attack? You're hoping for the void? The void may, might be next. Who knows? Hey Kiro, when you hover the ranked icon in icon selection, it tells you each title. Gotta say, man, stayed for the came for the ribbon, stayed for the Zoe flip, my man. I think we're I think we're having a rotation in uh February. Rotation of cards. So they're doing a rot like um they call it so like in a lot of card games they have like a season like a like a yearly or a two yearly rotation where they rotate cards out but we're not not too sure what to expect usually it's like the old cards will no longer be in standard if that makes sense but we only have one game mode at the moment, so maybe they'll be bringing out another game mode. Actually, I don't think the first rotation will be this year. It'll be the following year. It's our time. Gotcha. Oh no, I don't like that. I hated that back in MTG. Yeah, well, I think card games tend to do that quite a lot. It's pretty common. Whoa. Guy just played the box. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Ice to meet you. Whatever 
Yes, we don't know the full details of it yet, but they did talk about doing rotations. Hate to see another trundle. Thanks, not Petrius, if I'm saying it right. How to win this game? Card rotation will either kill this game or make it a thousand times better. Let's hope it makes it a thousand times better. Yeah, still got, a, still got like a year to wait for that. Damn. No healing for us today. I really want him to play uh, Fill the Rush. Patience. I guess I'm just going to play this now. Do I take here? Do I try and go full elusive against him? Because that's an opportunity. Do I blow up his entire board with cosmic rays? I guess I can open up with the trickster first. I'm guessing I'm just supposed to kind of go fucking elusive against him. Fear 
shall not death. That's pushing 12 damage. This is a very interesting decision point. It's like I could potentially go for the destroyer. Regardless, I think I could, oh man. I can drag, I can drag the pillar though with anything. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the destroyer. So I'm guessing he has vengeance, right? Or possibly another ruination. So do I play around the next one? Or do I just open attack and just go for it? Open attack is win with deny. It's true. It actually is true. We have deny, don't we? Holy shit. We have flash freeze. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about the freeze effects, right? And like, cause if I deny that, the thing is, if I deny that and then he like freezes me and then the following turn he plays, he plays, um, feel the rush, I'm fucked. So what if I did like, one second. <laughs> 